How's it going everybody, Tatodoy here back with another Dragon Ball Fighters DLC update as very recently we finally got those scans I was talking about for Gogeta Blue's inclusion in this month's V-Jump. Now I know we talked about a lot of what was going to be in this scan through the text leaks that we got a little bit earlier, but not only do the pictures show us a little bit more, they also give us a little bit more insight as to how the key blast mechanic they were talking about is going to work and I really want to talk about that as well as some assumptions on when we can expect to see Gogeta Blue come out. Again, that's not something mentioned in the scan at all but due to some other factors i think we can expect to see him relatively soon and we'll get into that a little later in the video up first though is something that wasn't mentioned in the text leaks at all and that is a picture of what i believe to be gogeta blue's victory screen which is actually just him doing the same pose gogeta blue did in the credits for the dragon ball super broly movie this has no impact on how he plays in the game at all i just think it's funny that arxis literally combed through the entire movie including the credits just to make sure they got everything out of this character after that we got shots of what is probably going to be the best character intro of season two Goku and Vegeta fusing to form Gogeta Blue and then powering up. Uh, I cannot wait to see this in motion. Hopefully they show the whole thing in a trailer relatively soon because I think this thing is going to be crazy good looking. Right after that, it looks like we have confirmation on what Gogeta Blue's level three is going to be and that we were sort of right by assuming that move used to defeat Broly was going to be that key tower explosion, whatever it is it's actually called. Makes contact, explodes, and then goes into a Kamehameha. That is what is depicted here as the level three. I still have my suspicions that the Kamehameha part might be a level five but either way thanks to that recent trailer we know how this is going to look it looks amazing so i'll be fine with whatever they decide to go with here and then on the right we have the entire reason i'm so excited to be doing this scan breakdown video and that is gogeta performing the gallic gun from the air at a diagonal angle much like what we talked about earlier where it said his basic key blast would take the form of a kamehameha and a gallic gun respectively the really rough google translate said that the gallic gun would be pointed down and it turns out google translate actually takes a w in this one as it appears if you're in the air, Galagun goes diagonal down, and if you're on the ground, Kamehameha goes across. Goes across horizontally on the screen, like most do. The only question now is, is this just a normal key blast function of the game? Do you click special and have a beam come out with beam property? That would be absolutely insane. I'm not sure if they would ever commit to fully doing that. Having a one button beam that stops Super Dash would be really, really crazy to have. It would make Gogeta Blue one of the best zoners in the game, I think immediately, which is a super interesting thought. One thing I think is more likely though, is that by standard key blast, they're referring to his standard quarter circle forward special. So on the ground, if you do that, you'll get a Goku-like Kamehameha. And if you're in the air, you'll get a Vegeta-like Galakin. That I could see happening. That wouldn't be broken at all. It's In fact, it's something Super Saiyan Goku can do and arguably do better. He can do a Kamehameha on the ground. He can do a Kamehameha on the ground and point it up. He can do one in the air and he can do one in the air and point it down. So that would already be a toned down version of something in the game. Whereas in if it really is just something that comes out when you click the key blast button, that would be a souped up version of something that's already in the game, all up with trunks. Trunks on the ground can click key blast and have a beam go across the screen and do it in the air and have one go diagonal but both of these can be super dashed through and really aren't too good i mean they're kind of fast so you can use them in neutral to poke at your opponent but if they super dash through them you're pretty much going to get blown up at certain ranges that pretty much concludes everything from gogeta blue specific scan uh, although we do have much more to talk about with the little bit of the janemba scan we can see on the right all right so this is where things start to look a little bad for gogeta the main thing i want to talk about is this small square here here, where you can see Janemba teleporting, they're showing off the feature, but they're also showing Gogeta Blue standing straight up. That is a bad thing because much like Vegito, uh, who also stands straight up, he can be fuzzy. So the working assumption right now is that Gogeta Blue is probably going to be another character that gets fuzzied in Dragon Ball Fighters, which is not a good thing. <laughs> it's just so unfortunate this is the way we had to find out uh, why it's going to be this way. He's just standing proud, dude, and he does not know the 50-50s that are about to be coming for him. That's a damn shame, honestly. In better news though if they're using gogeta blue as a testing dummy for janemba that indicates to me that work on gogeta blue is probably very close to wrapping up and the other scan specified that he'd be coming very soon leading me to believe that we will probably see gogeta blue either late next month with one more panel about him in next month's v jump and then a quick trailer and then a release date uh, pretty much the standard Dragon Ball Fighters procedure. And judging by the fact that the World Tour Finals are in January of next year, it makes sense that they would want Dragon Ball Super's version of Broly to be out a little bit before then, 
just so all of the characters are available to the competitors and everybody there has enough time to really get comfortable with that character. This is why for the rest of the year, I personally believe that we will be receiving Dragon Ball Fighters news in these V jumps every month, just like it used to be. It won't always be a big piece of news. Like it, it can be small like this month's version of Gogeta Blue, but I do think we will be getting something very consistently from now on. Once we hit World Tour Finals and once we hit World Tour Finals though, it really is going to be crazy to see if they announce anything, what it is they announce, if anything at all, it's gonna be huge. Another tiny square you should pay attention to is this one right here. They were trying to show off that Janemba counter and to do that, they did Gogeta Blue's version of a Kamehameha. Uh, so there you go. It's just like that rough Google Translate set. But that's all from me, guys. Let me know what you believe down below in the comments. Are you excited for Gogeta Blue more now that we have these scans? Were you always excited for him? How are you feeling? While you're down there, if you like these videos and the constant updates on Dragon Ball Fighters, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe so that I can keep these coming out to you. I really do appreciate it all. We also have some more videos up on your screen that you can feel free to check out. Thank you so much for checking this video out, and I will see you in the next one.